What's up mga kaos mga kapabs and welcome once again to our Google Classroom Tutorial Series. Maraming maraming salamat nga po pala sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe, nag-like at nag-shares ng mga videos ko. Lalong-lalo na itong ating tutorial na way nakatulong po sa inyo ng malaki. Lalong-lalo na sa mga kapwa kukuro out there. Maraming maraming salamat po. Aww. At para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin at bago lang bumisita sa channel na to, my name is Clifford Nazaria. I love cooking and baking. Makikita niyo yun sa akin channel. I'm also a dance and singing enthusiast. That's why I do covers. I am an event coordinator and also a teacher in professional. Wow! Kaya nang gumawa ako ng ganitong klaseng video para makatulong sa ating kapwa guru Aww. para magamit ang ganitong klaseng platform sa ating pagtuturo lalo na ngayong panahon na tinatawag nating new normal na kung saan isa na nga dito ang tinatawag nating distance learning or online teaching wow. of education. Ito ang ating new normal sa kagawaran ng edukasyon. Aww. Gusto nyong malaman at matutunan ang part na to ng ating series tutorial ng Google Classroom, ipagpatuloy lang ang panonood niyo. We are now in the fifth part of our Google Classroom series tutorial. And if you want to watch the other part of this tutorial, just click the links on the description below or just simply click the card or the suggestion caption on the upper right of this video. For this video, I will show you how you can create material and topic to your Google Classroom. In your Google Classroom, go to Classwork tab, then click Create and choose Material. And the material form will open. Type the title of your material and add description if necessary. Like in the previous part of our tutorial, there is an add button and create button below. You can add or create your own materials. In this example, I will be attaching files from my Google Drive. I attach PowerPoint presentation, a document, and a video file. We can save it to draft, schedule it if we will use this or send this for the future, and we can put the date and time when to post it. And click post if you want the material to be posted immediately. And it will send and notify your student instantly. The material will be shown in your classwork tab and also in the stream tab. They can open the resources on the materials. And if they want to edit the resources, the student can make their own copy and save it on their own drive. Adding material is a perfect way of organizing our attachments and serves as references to our students. The other one is the best way to organize our forms or files in our classwork tab. And this is by adding topic to do that on our classwork tab click create then choose topic name a topic we typically add topic according to the lesson or in every quarter but it is still depending on your own preference and if you already have so much files or forms on your classwork tab just simply drag the form or file you want to put in every specific topic. If you have questions or suggestions, just simply comment on this video below. And thanks for watching! If this video helps you a lot, don't forget to like, share to other people, and of course, subscribe. And for you to be updated for my new videos, just hit the bell button that's all for now and see you on my next video yeah!